because a man of the standing of Einstein sees otherwise. He sees the law of physics in such harmony, in such a beautiful balance, that he believes that there is beauty everywhere, that most of his discoveries are based on this fundamental belief in there being a perfect beauty in nature and natural laws. And nature, beauty means balance. No, not chance. Have had in creation cannot create beauty. Beauty means organization and balance. So this is how it came upon the theory of uh, relativity, both the special and the general theory of relativity. Because his belief on in beauty was so perfect and so wonderful. And this is why he said, I believe in God. And, but his God was the God of the physicist, who had not come into relationship with him. If God observed from some distance, like you observe a point of beauty farther away from you, you can't reach it. But at least he realizes that such a thing does exist. Can he come across an enemy scholar, for instance? who also knew his language, who could have brought him closer to, to the God who does exist and also come into contact with, with human beings. He had a frame of mind that I am not certain he would have uh, accepted in the God which we see from the Islam point of view. Because he was reasonable, his own mind was beautiful because of balance. So physics has started speaking of different things. <laughs> And again you can quote another physicist, the Nobel Laboratory, whose uh, essay has been published in American Scientist, Scientific American, uh, Scientific American. And he speaks of the, of, of, uh, uh, the concept of black holes and where they ultimately led to and how they came upon the concept of the Big Bang and how relating with these phenomena the scientists of the modern world have come to, have come to realize that there, there is a definite age of this universe. It's not limitless. Everything started on a certain cross-sectional of, of time, if you can call time, time. Time itself, is, you know, there is a very complex thing. They are using the data that the, you know, the existence of things is not timeless. It started at a definite juncture of history. And from then on, it started evolving and spreading. And the universe is still, still spreading from then on. Now that event, according to this great physicist, has proved something to the world of which previously the physicist was shy of him. That is the existence of God. He explains in a language which can be well understood by the physicists. Because he himself is a physicist. He says that when first the discovery of uh, um, um, that uh, expanding universe was made by Doppler's shift the applying of the, the phenomena of Doppler's shift in 1920-21. And when first it was observed by Einstein, you know the first reaction of Einstein was, in he, both, oh no. Now we will fix, you know, we have to believe in a real God now. This he did not talk in that way, language and in those terms. He understood the message that you prove the beginning of the universe in the way it has been proved. And you cannot do away with the concept of a God who is responsible for that big bang. Why? He himself speaks of this. And he ends up his essay most beautifully. He says, I will avoid all the detail now. He says that our, our uh, uh, case is like that our people who were sitting, sitting 200 years ago together discussing God. Not discussing, discussing Godlessness. 
you know, for other things. You know, these were the advanced scientists of that age, you know. And uh, a priest passed by and said, look here, everything was created. Don't waste your time. Don't, don't waste your effort. Everything was created by God. And this is a simple answer. Why don't you believe in it? They rejected the suggestion and poo-pooed him and started the journey of research and investigation and exploration. So after 200 years of labor put into this and after exploring all the possible avenues of existence, ultimately they ended up their journey right on the same spot from where they had started and there was the priest standing still there and saying, did not I say it? Did I, did I, did I, did I tell you that everything was created by God? He said, we have found ourselves to be exactly in that position. After making this guitar away from religion and the existence of God, after 200 years we have returned to exactly the same spot to observe ourselves and support the view of that priest. That yes, you were right. There is a creator who created all this. This is also the language of physics. Again, you could quote to him the language of another physicist who discovered the phenomena of energy being packed in a bundle and kept in a bundle without any material existence other than the energy itself. Just the energy found in an organized bundle. And that was such a fantastic thing at that time, that time, that it was hard for people to believe in it. Because that means a soul could exist separate from uh, material bondage. A type of energy could be organized without requirement of its dependence on material form. Angels, for instance, all other things. They could be just that thing, that phenomenon. Now this was a very great discovery. And uh, that discovery was followed and pursued by the scientists. And today it is being employed in so many modern devices which you daily use. And you don't know whether this, this phenomenon has been employed. That soul that thing is created entirely energy formed in a certain organization in the environment. Japan has advanced in this science so much that now they are creating this for the future world, uh, for the future of the world. They are using it in computer technology and other things. So, still talk or something in the name. Do you know? You are going to say it, aren't you? What is this called? Still talk? This, this, this bundle of energy. Huh? Sorry, talk. Sorry, I'm talking about sorry, talk. This was first discovered by someone who was uh, taking a boat, towing a boat along the bank of the river, bank of the lake. And uh, you know, he had, it was a horse tow uh, boat, he was walking along the river, and at one time on the, on, he stopped and he was surprised to find that the uh, energy which was created in the form of waves left behind the boat, they were not left behind like they should be left behind. The boat, boat stopped and they kept on moving as if the boat was still moving ahead. And across the boat and even they turned the corner. So that was the most surprising thing which he observed and he reported it to some uh, scientists and uh, later on the physicists did observe such a phenomenon where a, an energy, a form of energy can be internally organized and it can exist independent of the force which is, which is creating it like the boat. The motion of the boat was creating that form behind it. That form behind it should, could not have existed independently and gone across beyond the boat and uh, retained retain its identity. That sowed the seed of soliton. And then the scientists uh, not only succeeded in finding it in nature, they also created it. 
and they also discussed it in relation to the existence of soul. 